Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to this new video on uh, Maker, uh, which I wanted to make a video on. It's, uh, it, it was very, very bullish yesterday, unfortunately, because I was short. Um, but, uh, but all right, it's, uh, it's fine. That happens. Stop losses are part of trading as well. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick video on that. Uh, quickly analyzing it, giving you a little bit of oversight on what's happening right now uh, with Maker uh, and what the different possibilities are. Right now, Maker is kind of stuck between this uh, level around the 3A2 FIP, which is around 1150, also a psychological support level. Uh, and then you have quite a lot of resistance right here between uh, 1200 and 1180, which is supported by some Fibonacci levels up here, old ones, but still. Uh, a newly formed trend line, which I would say is valid right now, uh, but also just in general, this uh, this resistance level, which is around 1200 and 1180. Uh, so we'll talk about that. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of context and I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it right now. Different possibilities as well. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Before we dive into that, I do want to mention that I have my own premium training group in which I share all of my trades. Like I said, they're, they're not only winners, but at least it's transparent. Uh, but you, there's also a chat room full of traders, uh, which is very, very helpful. And if you actually want to analyze and trade like me, there's a trading guide, which will teach you how to do that if you're interested in that. So if, um, if at all this interests you, uh, the links will be down in the description or the pinned comments to see how to join. Uh, but for now, on to Maker. So the situation really is, is, is like, I, like I stated it. Like there's a lot of support right here basically between like 1125 and 1150 that's the main support and then there's quite a lot of resistance up here as well what we'll see is is a is, is a breakout all right which way that breakout will be that's the that's the most difficult question and at this point of time like one of the things we can do is take a look at maker and, and moves like this like maker has had a lot of moves like these in the last couple of months just in general, Maker does have a lot of downside uh, potential because it, it was very, very low during all of these months. Uh, and I do think it will return to those levels at some point of time. Um, but usually what you see with Maker is that if it actually goes up and it has a spike like this, like here you don't, don't see those spikes and it continued going up. But usually when it has a spike like that, you do see some bearish momentum as well. Here you can see spike bearish momentum, spike, bearish momentum. And then after that, it does follow, uh, it, it, it does follow more bullish momentum. Um, but now the, the times have a little bit at least changed. <laughs> like Bitcoin is quite bearish right here. Um, so yeah, that's something, uh, that, that's an old alert, excuse me, uh, if that was loud. But yeah, so, so that's what we'll have to think about. In general, the main thing you should know in my eyes is that if Maker is actually able to, to break above like 1215 and 1220, then it's quite likely we'll go all the way up to 1350 right here uh, because that's a major bullish breakout. And then there is still resistance at around 1280. But I would very much doubt that that will hold it back uh, from, from going up there if Maker gets that bu bullish breakout. Now, if on the other hand, Maker drops down below like the 382 FIP again and it uh, closes around uh, 1120, then it's quite likely that we'll see that bearish breakout and drop down towards uh, 1100. And then especially if 1100 is broken, it's it's almost for sure that we'll drop down all the way to 1020 and 1000 uh, down here. And then some sort of a consolidation forms uh, with the potential of more bearish momentum down towards 800, uh, 880 and 860. But that's something we'll still see. That That's a little bit more for the long term. For now, it's really about which one of those two key levels will, will break first. Um, and also kind of what, what Bitcoin does in the next uh, in the next three days. So Friday beginning of the month and the weekend. Um, I'll keep you updated on that. I think it's a little bit more likely given the given the past that we'll see some bearish momentum here. Uh, but that's my take on Maker. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.